friends welcome back to our channel this is Rohit friends in today's video we are going to discuss about Wi-Fi in Android so how we can control Wi-Fi in Android application that we are going to discuss so in this video first of all we are going to discuss the class that is available for controlling the Wi-Fi then we are going to see what different permissions we require for controlling the Wi-Fi and at end of video I am going to discuss one simple example where we will try to turn on and turn off Wi-Fi through Android application. So friends, as all of you know, Wi-Fi is wireless fidelity and this is basically a wireless network protocol. And according to this protocol, devices can connect to each other wirelessly without any wire. So this protocol or this standard is basically defined by IEEE under project 802.11. So devices can connect wirelessly to the internet or to the other devices and the purpose may be for exchanging the data. So Android basically allow applications for accessing the state of wireless connections. So applications can access almost all information of wireless connection. So what different types of information it will include. So first of all connection of network link speed. Second thing IP address. Third one scan for available Wi-Fi network within the range then next one allowing devices connect to the internet next one connecting to the other devices through the service discovery next one managing list of configured network and next one managing the multiple connections applications can also scan for available Wi-Fi connections or applications can add new Wi-Fi connection they can save Wi-Fi connection or they can terminate Wi-Fi connection okay so all these things application can do in the Android so how actually applications are going to control Wi-Fi so for that purpose Android provides one class and that class name is Wi-Fi manager so this is basically API which allow us to manage all aspect of the Wi-Fi connectivity in the Android so we can instantiate it by calling one method and that method name is gate system service method so let's try to see the example so here first of all we are creating the object of Wi-Fi manager class and our object name is my Wi-Fi any name you may specify then we are calling this method gate system service and one parameter we are passing to it that is context dot Wi-Fi service and we are typecasting this result into Wi-Fi manager because the my Wi-Fi is type of Wi-Fi manager class okay so this will help us to instantiate the Wi-Fi manager okay once we instantiate this Wi-Fi manager then very easily we will be able to control the Wi-Fi settings okay now what permissions we will require in order to use Wi-Fi or in order to control the Wi-Fi in Android application so we will require three permissions over here that we will specify within the Android manifest file first permission is change Wi-Fi state second permission is access Wi-Fi state and third permission internet these three permissions we need to specify within the Android manifest file so here it is example of manifest file how it will look after adding these three permissions so within this manifest tag you can see uses permission this is a tag and what what is name of our permission so android dot permission dot access Wi-Fi state this is first permission second permission android dot permission dot internet and third permission android dot permission dot change Wi-Fi state so these three permissions we will specify within our manifest file okay now what kind of GUI we are going to create within our example so in our GUI there will be two buttons first button will be turn on Wi-Fi so whenever user will click on this button we will turn on our Wi-Fi and second button will be turn off Wi-Fi so whenever user will click on this button we will turn off our Wi-Fi so this this kind of example we are going to discuss now friends I will take you to the Android studio where I have already created one project called Wi-Fi demo now we got these two files Java file and XML file so within this XML file now first of all we will design our GUI 
so friends here i will take this hello world to the top of our screen and i will change its text to wi-fi demo so here i will write wi-fi demo and as well i am going to change the size of this text so let's say our size will be 40 dp so next to this i am going to add two buttons as per our discussion so first button will be for turning on our wi-fi so i will set the constraints for this button and we will change its text so let's say turn on Wi-Fi so this is the first button now next to that second button we will place here again I will set the constraints and we will just change its text to turn off Wi-Fi so now friends here our GUI is ready now I will take you to the Java file now within this file first of all we are going to create the objects so create objects so let's say button b1 comma b2 so here we need to import this button class first of all okay so we have imported this now next to that we are going to fetch the reference from xml file so here first reference will be for b1 so let's say button so button find view by id r dot id dot and our id for first button will be button okay so i will copy this line and i'm going to modify this line for second button so id for second button is button 2 and object is b2 so this is how we have fetched the reference now next to that we are going to add now event handling related code over here so whenever user will click on first button we want to turn on our Wi-Fi so for that I will write here b1 dot set on click listener new view on click listener and this will provide us this on click method now within this method we are going to create the object of Wi-Fi manager class let's say Wi-Fi manager let's say my Wi-Fi is equal to we are going to use get application context dot get system service and to this method we are going to pass context dot wi-fi service as an parameter and friends we need to typecast this result so as my wi-fi is type of wi-fi manager so here we will specify wi-fi manager so this is how we have created the object of Wi-Fi manager class now next to that we are going to call set Wi-Fi enable method so here I will write my Wi-Fi dot set Wi-Fi enable and as we want to turn on our Wi-Fi here we will pass true value so this statement is turning on Wi-Fi okay so this is how we have 
completed code for turning on Wi-Fi. Now in the same way, we are going to write code for turning off Wi-Fi. So we will write here b2 dot set on click listener new view on click listener and within this method now again we are going to create the object of Wi-Fi manager so I can copy this code as it is and I will paste this code here okay so here I am going to just set this value to false so it will turn off our Wi-Fi so turning off Wi-Fi so this is what the code we have for turning on and turning off Wi-Fi through Android application okay now friends next to that we are going to set permission as we discussed in the theory we have to set three permissions in the android manifest file so i will explore this app and in the manifest file i am going to add three permissions over here so here i will start typing uses permission so here i will write android dot permission dot wi-fi okay so access Wi-Fi state this is first permission then second permission we require I will just copy this line as it is and here I'm going to change the second permission dot change Wi-Fi state this is second permission and third permission we will have internet so here I will write internet okay so these three permissions we have added within the Android manifest file now friends here our code is completed and now we will try to run our app so friends I have connected my mobile phone and now we will run our app so here the build process has started So here the build process has completed and now it is installing the application. So here I will tab on install and now it is launching the activity. So friends here we can see we have two buttons in our GUI turn on Wi-Fi and turn off Wi-Fi. So right now we can see here our Wi-Fi is off so friends now I will tab on turn on Wi-Fi and we can see the Wi-Fi has turned on and now friends I will try to turn off our Wi-Fi so it is asking us so just I will tab on allow once and now you can see the Wi-Fi has turned off okay so friends like this we will be able to turn on or turn off Wi-Fi so here again we have turn on our Wi-Fi and now you can see it is on okay now again we will try to turn off again it is asking for a permission so I will allow once and it got off so like this we will be able to control the Wi-Fi through Android application so friends if you are new to our channel please subscribe this channel and if you find this video useful please like and share this video I will see you next video thank you for watching